Okay, so something a little different. Uh, in my Google News feed, I saw that there was uh, the Royal Mail had released some video game stamps, and uh, I don't collect stamps. I did when I was uh, I was very little, but I haven't collected stamps for a long time. But uh, seeing some of the games in here really uh, struck a time with me, and 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 was something that I wanted to keep. Uh, and as a collector's uh, edition, it I thought it was great. So Tomb Raider uh, is obviously gets four of its own stamps. Uh, so very big. As a franchise, you can see on the back there's various different renders and various different things from uh, different versions of Tomb Raider, different artwork, which is really nice. This is the main part, which is, uh, has this sort of fold out which talks about gaming from the 80s. And I was on board right from the start with a, a ZX81 and then a ZX Spectrum, uh, and so this really hits with me. Uh, so if I open it up, it starts off with a leap, which I did enjoy. Uh, I was maybe I didn't get right into it, but I, I kind of got the principle. For me, later on, Privateer the Darkening, which was also a sort of space trading game, I loved it on PC. That was a brilliant, brilliant game. Uh, Dizzy, I would have put uh, Manic Miner or Jet Set Willie, you can't have everything. Uh, I, I, Dizzy is still a decent game and a good choice. Uh, Populous was great on the Amiga, really enjoyed that. Uh, Lemmings, now... The version that they're talking about is the Amiga version. I actually played it first on uh, on an Apple Mac, I think, uh, where my wife used to work at Exeter University. Um, they had Macs, and I used to sit and wait for her and play Lemmings, which uh, wasn't too bad at the time. Uh, so here are the stamps right at the bottom. Uh, so you can see, uh, as we've gone through, really elite. Worms was great as well. It was a multiplayer game. Uh, that was really good. And I think I used to play that on the PlayStation uh, or maybe the Mega Drive, I think it was the PlayStation. Uh, Sensible Soccer on the Amiga is still brilliant, and uh, as a multiplayer game, I used to love it. Uh, I remember when my wife was at university, I used to go up and they used to play big tournaments of Sensible Soccer, and uh, and it was oh, just amazing. Uh, Lemmings, again, uh, Wipeout, I remember that being released, and, and the musical soundtrack that came with it. Uh, I went up to the official launch of uh, the original PlayStation up at uh, Sony headquarters, and uh, and that was a really good time. Uh, so Micro Machines, remember that from the Mega Drive we used to play, I think, 8 Play. A friend had a 40-inch CRT TV, and we used to play all together on that, and that was brilliant. Dizzy, Populous, we've already covered. Uh, you also get sort of a write-up of the, the games, and on the back here you can see Micro Machines, Sensible Soccer, Wipeout, and Worms, and there's various details on that. I've taken scans of all of this, so I'll show that at the end of the video, just so you can see it in a bit more detail. But yeah, if you if you like video games, I mean, I I'd like a place to put it up. If I had a, if I had a games room, I would put this up on the wall because I just really like the graphics. It just it just brings it back, really. Anyway, I hope you like it. Um, oh, the only thing that I would have rather be in there, uh, and and really they needed to cover, and I've got a few more of these in my loft. Dave Mirror should have been on there. Uh, it should have been. Uh, not instead of Tomb Raider, but as well as. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.